What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for mini conventions? This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Hey, who doesn't love a good convention, but is it even worth your time to go to one of these mini conventions? Um, I don't know. Why don't you take a look at this? found well though. Showing off the TI cartridge expander. And
an amazing job with her face. What did you do? I don't know. My lady wanted something. My lady gets something. <laughs> That's so sweet. Now I gotta go home and play with it. <laughs> you better. <laughs> See? What did I even tell you? Mini conventions are a ton of fun. This was the Joplin Collectors Mini Expo. Now, this is mostly a, a toy convention, but uh, as you saw, there were a couple of games there. I didn't actually pick anything up, but you did pick up some toys. I did. Plus, even though this was a mini convention, we kept running into some of our local con friends mm -hmm. left and right, which was so awesome because in all honesty, that's what it's all about. Getting back to convention scenes and everything. Yes. When it's that time of year, you start going to all these events and you start seeing your buddies, uh, including a couple of friends that uh, have told us they watch our channel a few times in the past. We even met them at Mo Game Con. Future Tom has a photo right here. Not only did they come and say hello, they even had some gifts. Yes. Uh, they've got your number because yeah. look at the mini figs we got some that fun they gave mini you. figs from the What If series. I love these. Yes. We have a lovely little Bucky Winter Soldier here with Cap's shield. Monica Rambo in her sword garb because uh, this is the one division one so i mean representing lego representing some great marvel shows marvel and lego aside they attacked another fandom with some harry potter love yeah we had a really cute tiny little harry potter pin of the magical menagerie so i can go in there and get me some magical pets uh i don't think you need any more pets plush or real uh, just saying i disagree <laughs> uh, they had one more gift. Oh, are you going to make us do this? It's not as hard mm. as some of the other ones. Look, it's a bit pliable. He still said it was like 30-year-old gum because apparently they're a fan of your favorite hashtag. Hashtag eat the gum. Are, are you going to have us do this? You ready? No. No, I've never read. It's, I, I've literally had... 30 years away from... doesn't want us oh, to open it. Oh, oh, we have two huge pieces for one another. Here, oh. we can open just the one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. Oh, no, 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 you can't! I won't do it! I won't do it! You can't me! You can't me! It smells like, like 80s or 90s. This is gum. Well... Yeah, yeah, fair enough. At least this is gum. I don't want to keep eating it, though. No, I think I'm done with it. Yeah. But... That, that actually... Fair enough. 
It didn't turn into dust. So there's that. You want to know something funny? All the other hashtag eat the gums we've done where it's turned just to dust, has I've never really had a taste with it. But this one? This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this one tastes gross. This one has a flavor. I do not, I do not enjoy that. No. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know what would make for a great segue is to go from one gross thing to another because I'm pretty sure you got one of the most grotesque things to ever come from all of the Spider-Verse with this particular figure. I did. I got Doppelganger Spider-Man. <laughs> Look at all of those yeah. arms. And I really do like these because I've got um, Spider-Man where he's still Spider-Man, but he's got all the extra arms when he, you know, tried to cure himself and whoopsie, whoops, he gave myself some extra arms. Um, I do love the fact that each arm has each of its little articulations. So I do appreciate that. I do think it's really, really cool. And each hand is doing something, you know, kind of different. So you can do lots of different fun poses. So they he's not out. just punching something or doing the flip thing or, or whatever. The only thing that I'm a little... An I wouldn't say annoyed, but disappointed, maybe. I was kind of hoping his mouth would have a little joint Kind of like there. a little hinge or yeah, something. Yeah, but it doesn't. I mean, he just kind of nods along to the music. Wow. Well, still a pretty cool figure yeah. because with all those extra arms, uh, you know, you don't even have to rely on Sid from Toy Story to fix your toy for you. He's got yeah. the extra arms to begin with. Doctor, you've done it! Genie's all better now. But again, uh, basically, you were snatching Peter Parker's from the Spider-Verse at this one because Apparently you have more. Apparently I was into Spider to this time. So we've got a uh, lovely shimmying Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a little dance for you. Uh, no, 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 future Tom. No, <laughs> not that we dance. We never want to see that. No. We never want to see no. that again. I really enjoyed the suit that he's wearing. Um, I like the elongated spider uh, symbol on there. That's one of my more favorite versions of the suit. And he wasn't intentionally doing the shimmy, but um, I think one of the ways you were getting him to stand up made him stand funky. So sometimes, he's got a little shimmy. He's sometimes got a little shimmy that's how shake. a lot of your toys end up with their forever poses. I put them in like a weird position, and it's like that's them <laughs> forever move. now. <laughs> now this guy should be a lot of fun to pose because he has a little bit of a hook to his figure. Yes, this next one that I picked up. Actually, what caught my eye was the way he was in his um, packaging because he's got <laughs> magnets on his hands and his feet. Well, he had his hands up like this in the package, so he was just kind of like, so it looked like he was like, let me out, let me out. So, you know, of course I had to buy him to bring him home to let him <laughs> out. But he's a lot of fun because those magnets in his hands allow him to be anywhere that's magnetic. So I can put him upside down. I can put him in lots of different fun places. So he might be a fun figure for me to come in and be like, oh, where is he today? Because you like to move my toys around. Yeah, yeah. So. Hey, he can hang out. Hey, tell you what, you know what? These uh, these hooks, let's, let's try a little live one here. Well, there we go. See? Ta-da! Ta <laughs> uh, well, the spider love continues. It does continue because I found my favorite spider, Spider-Gwen. Oh, I thought it was going to be Spider's man. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> That was, that was, that should never exist. Let's, let's think of the worst thing on the planet you can think of, spiders, and make them come together to form a human man. No thank you. <laughs> so, teeny tiny teeny spider tiny, Gwen. Little bitty spider Gwen, she was super cute. She was just kind of off in the corner and I was like, ooh, ooh, how much? And she's like, two bucks. And I'm like, she's mine. Yeah, yeah. She's mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Two dollar toy, so, hey, all day. I think that is cute because this is one of those mystery figures that you have to be able to, you know, get the right one out of a bag. So this way, I don't have to. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then the last spider thing that I got was uh, a Barbie esque spider woman, and um, she's from the '90s. She is a little rough. Her boots are peeling off the fake pleather. She was actually hanging from a basketball net. And I thought that was just kind of funny. It was the first thing I actually noticed when we walked into the room. And I went over to ask how much it was. And they go, you know, you're the only one who noticed that today. And I said, well, then I should get a deal. It's, it's because she's <laughs> used to stuff hanging out in this place. Uh, yeah. And I'm short, so I'm used to looking up. <laughs> but anyway, I've got a couple figures like her. I've got some X-Men figures. I have some other Spider-Man figures um, in this, like, 
Barbie-esque. It's shorter than a Barbie, so I don't know if you would call it Barbie uh, form. Barbie would probably sue. They, yeah, probably. She, she seems like she would use her lawyer skills to sue. She does have the real hair like a Barbie. She's got all the articulations um, that you wished your Barbie had. So she bends at the elbows and at the wrists and the ankles, knees, all that fun stuff. So she's super pliable and everything Now, you like mentioned that. the uh, the pleather boots, but like her costume so yeah her mask and her um suit is spandex like every good superhero yeah true and true. then um her her gloves and her boots are that shiny pleather which you know age has not been kind to them so they are coming off so i'm gonna have to try to figure out some way to preserve that her hair obviously has not been cut from some little kid and whatever so and it's not even really all that messy so she's in for, for all intents and purposes pretty good shape for the 90s well, despite all of the spider love here, you didn't go 100% Marvel. You did get one DC. I did get one DC character. I got me a fun uh, Joker figure, and I don't know why I wanted him. He just, he was just laying there on the table, and he was like, hey, hey, take me home. So I thought maybe, you know, my, some of my Wonder Woman action figures and Batman action figures might need a villain to play with. And I also really like the fact that he has a real chain. Because the rest of his costume is that, you know, hard painted on plastic. But he's got a real chain for his pocket. Well, this is just a great looking figure anyway. I mean, he's got that very elongated but very slender mm -hmm. form that Joker has. Uh, almost comically so with like how long his yeah. torso and legs are. And of course his face is drawn out with uh, all those long angular shapes and everything. And all the coloring. It's very vibrant. Yes. That purple green striped yeah. suit and yeah the greens the yellows the golds all of that really pops so he's just a really cool looking figure but unlike the cartoon he actually does have spats on <laughs> yes did you ever uh see that moment where he pulls up his pants and it's like oh those aren't spats that's, those aren't spats that's his leg <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he'll have fun tormenting some Wonder Woman and some Batman. Well, uh, probably not to torment anyone, but as far as mythical beasts go, you do love this one. I love dragons! And I found me a dragon. Of course, I'm going to, you know, try to find a dragon anywhere I go. And that's exactly what you said when I brought it up to you. I had a whole handful of Spider-Man and a dragon, you know, because that's what I do. So I just found this. He was just cute. He was in a dollar bin and he needed to come home with me. Cute, very cute. <laughs> well, uh, all of these toys, you know what? I only bought one thing, actually. Just and one thing. I bought it for her because that's that's what I do. Because he loves me. I buy stuff for other people. She wanted the bridge. She got the bridge. I got the bridge. Check out all the cool things this thing can do. It makes all the fun noises. The uh, screen lights up so you can see that Klingon bird of prey in there. You can put your all of your Star Trek Picard and Riker and all those other fun characters all over the bridge in many fun different poses. The cool thing is, playsets like these really make for great display models. Mm -hmm. And especially you, you have such a, a vast I collection do have of, Star quite the of Star Trek figures. So it's really easy to swap them out, mm -hmm. have different stuff going on, just have a lot of fun, put the playset to use as a playset or as a great display piece. Yeah, I mean, it's got the doors that open. Uh, you do have to make the noise, though, unfortunately. It doesn't make the real noise. Yeah, the fact that it's in such great shape, I mean, a lot of the stickers are still in place, of course, uh, not really coming up or anything. It's only missing a few pieces, like in the back, it's missing uh, one of the little cabinets. It is missing the top of it and everything, but everything else works really well. The other really neat thing about it is some of these pieces will come out so that you can change things. This lays down so that you can have better access to it and everything. Or if you wanted to put it on a shelf, you know, yeah. you could pull those pieces down and yeah. and be able to view it from more than just an overhead perspective. Yeah, so it's really, really a cool piece. I think one thing I want to do is try to look out for a really inexpensive Lazy Susan and put it on there so we can kind of <laughs> rotate it as need be. Nice. <laughs> well, as you can see, I mean, we had a lot of fun at this mini convention. We got a lot of fun stuff, it whether it was toys that you didn't even know you were looking for, like a plethora of Spider-Man, things you didn't know you needed for display purposes, like the Star Trek, the next generation, Enterprise D bridge, 
or even some fun gifts from some awesome friends. Thank you so much for that. Plus everyone that we got to run into and talk to. Yeah, mini conventions are a ton of fun. So nerdlings, please comments down below on any of the stuff, but more importantly, go out, check out these mini conventions, take a look around in your area. I often hear a lot of people say, you know, oh, we don't have anything like that, or I never knew about that in our area. Sometimes these don't get a lot of the talk that some of the bigger ones do, so put that ear to the ground, yep. start listening for them, and, uh, you know, hit them up whatever you can. Even if they seem like just a swap meet or something, a lot of great conventions started out just as that. Of course, if you really just don't have any in your area, start your own. Yep. You know, start it up as a swap meet. Get all these like-minded people together, make it grow, boom, and then you'll be finding all kinds of cool stuff. Spiders included. Well, yeah, Spider-Man included. Not real spiders. I better turn it over to you now. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Check us out on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it. Just hashtag don't eat the gum. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. I better not find gum underneath the uh, captain's seat. I could so picture Riker doing that. He would, yeah. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Perhaps it would be best if we discuss this. Shut up! I beg your pardon. I said shut up! As in close your mouth and stop talking. The Mini Collector's Con. Aren't you too tall to go there? That was pretty funny. Is this a thing? Are we doing this now? It is a thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alexa, what is the pet store in Harry Potter called? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Ollivander's one shop was operated by Mr. Ollivander. Swing and a miss. Yep. You know, Spider Man, I'm supposed to be sticky. This is why we can't have a nice future because our robots are dumb. But then we make them smart and then they murder us. But at that point, that's on us.